Well, they are called Warriors to Washington. It's a group that takes veterans to D.C. to visit patriotic sites, giving them a better understanding of what they fought for. Our own Kristen Nielsen tagged along with them. She has some more from the nation's capital. Both sons wanted to be Marines since they were itty bitty. Donna Long was raised in Erie, but moved to the D.C. area in her teens. The last three years, she's met up with the Warriors to Washington group thanks to a rekindled relationship with a childhood friend. She comes from a long line of veterans, and her two sons have followed suit. They wanted to be the best of the best, and for them, that was being a Marine. Her in laws were on American Airlines Flight 77 on 9 11, the plane that struck the Pentagon, killing everyone on board. My kids were little eight five and four and they would see Nana and Gramps every day. Following those attacks, so many men and women were mobilized to avenge the fallen. 11 years and one day later, former Marine Don King's son, Jared King, was killed in action in Afghanistan. I've been to D.C. but never visited the monuments or anything. He was asked to participate in this year's wreath-laying ceremony at Arlington National Cemetery. The entire time that was going on, uh, thinking of honoring all those that, that we've lost in the past, and of my son and thinking of the two soldiers that were lost with him. Nothing will ever heal the wounds of that day, but trips like this are a reminder of what those in the armed forces are fighting for. In Washington, Kristen Nielsen, Jet 24 Action News. Thank you for your service.